I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we'll fill the Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly Chica Chica, Chica update. update. If you're new to this channel, please keep watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so that you do get notified when we do post new episodes. Yep, thank you. But we're late getting this out, sorry. But there's been some big news, big big news. My youngest brother is here in Cebu, Cebu. Finally, after yeah, a we, lot of off camera. He was stuck in Manila for a week. Yep. And we were trying to figure out what we could do to help him through that, that there was paperwork and then they finally released him to come to Cebu and he gets in Cebu and finds out that the agency that's in Manila yeah. that handed him off to the agency that's in Cebu didn't Thank tell you. Cebu that he needed more paperwork and it, it just got to be a headache. And, and he's stuck in a hotel. So Monday when we normally would record these and post them we were running around trying to make sure paperwork got taken care of and figure out where he was and mama and pop yeah it's been it's been an interesting week it's like if you see people like um <coughs> they said if you travel from manila to cebu there's no acceptance there no documentation but guess what it's different if you are an ofw coming from china so. Yeah, because when he flew back, the, the ship he was on got bought, and the agency that he worked for pulled all the crew off. Yeah. And the flight path that they had him came through mainland China. Yeah. And so yeah, that they 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 were uh, extra precautious. And then he made comment that not in his group, but in, in someone else that was on the flight with him tested positive at one of the different hotels. That they were going to a different area, yeah, and so that they because they were on the same flight that, that jumped them to a different category. And they possibly it just got to be a real big headache, and but it's all solved. Everybody's in Sabunga, Everybody's including me <laughs> and me, and I'm up for work. And somebody's actually going to be staying in Sabunga. Yeah. That I've got a few things that I wanted to get done, and there, there's some stuff that I, we do need to take care of in Cebu. Yeah. And so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to take care of those. And Cindy's going to have some time with her family, and her brother's back, and I, I kind of wanted to let him have a little bit of private time and family time, you know, yeah. just rebonding and reassuming. Re yeah, after six years. Yeah, because uh, the first time. The last time Cindy saw, her, saw yeah. Jill was our wedding after our wedding, the following day of our wedding. The, at that point, he was a uh, intern in a ship. Yeah, doing his internship uh, in our island. Yeah. And he wasn't able to make the wedding, but he was able to come a day or two after. We spent a couple of days. And then when we went to Cebu, that he took the bus and went with us. And we dropped him off. Or no, he t we took a cab. No, we took a series and then cab. Oh yeah, cab going there. And so he came with us and uh, we dropped him off at the port and he got on a cargo ship that does inter island uh, transfers. Yeah. And that was six years ago was the last time that we saw the Cindy seen him. Well, the last time I've seen him too, but uh, yeah. no. Yeah, no. Time. Last year when I came back, you to saw my car, him. You saw him. I saw him real briefly. You saw him, but not me. So yeah, that I, a that's year why ago, I told I you, Jen, like you saw John last year and you did not see me. So. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, when I had to come back and renew my ACR card, he was here due to ship out in a few weeks. Yeah, and then, and then life as we know it came to an abrupt halt. Covid call. and everything. So yeah. Uh, and yeah, he just got out just before we got here a few months ago yeah. and so he actually had a pretty short sea tour this, this time mm -mm. but everybody's back and it's way cool uh, we're hoping them... my, uh, my, middle, my Ill, eldest brother Kuya will be coming home May so another documentation <laughs> yeah. yeah but for him coming straight from the US might be a little bit easier yeah and yeah. is he going to try and fly it direct to Cebu or go be, through Manila? It will be direct Cebu. Yeah, because Cebu is a lot easier 
And then you don't have to do the silliness of going into Manila and then coming yeah. to Cebu, and it, it just, but that, that was a huge reason why we found a flight that specifically came straight to Cebu. Yeah, what are the updates or things that you were looking forward with us? Um, Sunshine will be going to a hospital. That would be the, still ongoing because we were waiting for the parts to be completed. The mechanic was saying that there's that he's gotten some of the parts, but there's others that he's saying it's going to take a week, maybe two weeks to get. And so hopefully next week when I come down this weekend, we can drop it off. Yeah. Uh, but no guarantees. Yep, so we will see. Uh, that. So that's where Sunshine is. Uh, where, else, where else is going on that we wanted to. I don't know, aside from I kick up my boss. I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody, somebody, somebody's joined the rank of the unemployed again. <laughs> but there's a lot of people calling me and, you know, uh, doing for another job. And I said, no, I need a break. So. They're going to take a month or two off. Uh, that's going to free it up to where we'll start traveling a little bit more that we've wanted to do. Hey, we can go to Mount Pasca now. <laughs> you haven't got to worry about uh, being back in such a hurry. Yeah, that's true. I like that. Uh, There's so many places because we've got to Mila and go to Oslo, go to Malta. There's still a lot of places. Huh? There's a ton of things that we've wanted to travel around to. And with trying to get a routine and, and what's going on and yada, 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 it just hasn't happened. So. This is removing one more barrier towards that. Yeah. And so we're going to start, we will start traveling a little bit more. We've talked about it, uh, not this coming weekend, but the following weekend. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to, we plan on going down to uh, Pacific Cebu Resort. Yeah, for diving. And just do a day trip down there that it's on Lapu Lapu Island, right close to where we're staying. Mm -hmm. And that we actually dove there a couple years ago. Two, three years ago, okay. And uh, that was actually the last dive that we've made. Yeah, that's true. And, and the cool thing on that is that when you do that, there's a dive master that, that's with each person. Yeah. And so that way it's way more comfortable and, and they're keeping an eye on you. Yep. And so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, I'm bringing all of our scuba gear, well not all of it, but I'm bringing the regulators. I've already got our dive computers in Cebu and we're going to get them serviced. May take, probably will take them if they're back in time. And they should be. It's, I give them almost two weeks to do the servicing. Yeah. And take those so that, that way we've got regulators that we've used that are comfortable with yeah. and need to get re-comfortable with. Yep. But uh, that's actually about it we'll keep you informed as soon as we have changes or updates and we will see you thank you so much for watching enjoy, enjoy.